Professor Dave and Chegg here. We know that alkanes are fully saturated hydrocarbons, so all the carbons are sp3 hybridized, with only sigma covalent bonds between them. Let's now move on to some different kinds of hydrocarbons, namely those with at least one pi bond between the carbon atoms. If we have a hydrocarbon with a double bond present, this will no longer be called an alkane. This is called an alkene. The rules we know for nomenclature of alkenes will all remain the same when looking at alkenes, but now the suffix of the molecule will be ene. Take this molecule for example. We see that there are seven carbons, but because there is a double bond, this will now be a heptene. There is one other thing we must do. We have to specify precisely where the double bond is occurring on the molecule, or it would be ambiguous. So we will number the carbon chain so as to give the double bond occurring soonest. That will be left to right, as that gives the double bond starting on carbon 3, as opposed to carbon 4 if we went the other way. So this is called 3-heptene. The number 3 is reporting the position of the double bond that makes this an alkene. Remember, if there are substituents present, we must select the longest carbon chain possible that contains the double bond. So if there is a longer chain possible, but which does not contain the double bond, that will not be the parent chain. There is another important rule in terms of prioritization. If we place any alkyl or halogen substituent on this molecule, like say a methyl group right here, this will not have any impact on the way we number the parent chain. The double bond has priority over any alkyl or halogen, and we will still number so as to give the double bond specifically occurring soonest, even though numbering the other way gives the methyl occurring soonest. So this will be 6-methyl-3-heptene. All the rules regarding substituents will be those that we already know. They will be listed alphabetically and with a number according to their position, combining identical substituents to be listed at once, with all the numbers shown and a special prefix like di or tri indicating how many of them there are. We can also use these prefixes if more than one double bond is present. So we could have dienes, trienes, and so forth. In these cases, we would still need to report the number of carbons in the parent chain, so this would give us something like 1,3-butadiene. One substituent that does take priority over the double bond is the hydroxyl group. If we turn this methyl into a hydroxyl, now the only thing that matters is getting the hydroxyl on the lowest numbered carbon possible. This would mean that we would now number from right to left. The other tricky thing about this situation is that we now have two different functional groups that are both attempting to modify the suffix of the name. We have an en and we have an all. Both of those will have to be present in the name. The way we do it is as follows. We will say 4-heptene-2-all. So we communicate the presence and location of the double bond, stating the number carbon where the double bond begins, but we drop the final E as we have more of the molecule to list. This E right here is enough to indicate that the double bond is there. And we finish off by communicating the presence and location of the hydroxyl group, and just the suffix all will suffice for that as we have already indicated the number of carbons in the chain. Finally, cyclic alkenes will also be pretty easy to name. If there are no substituents, we don't even have to list the position of the double bond, as it's arbitrary, so this is cyclohexene. If substituents are present, then the carbons participating in the pi bond will be carbons 1 and 2, in whichever order gives the first substituent occurring soonest. So this is 1-methylcyclohexene, not 2. This is 1,5-dimethylcyclopentene, not 2,3. So that covers the basics regarding nomenclature of alkenes, which means we should be able to name any simple alkene with ease. Professor Dave for Chegg, see you next time.